Hey there, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I like to make resumes using Canva. So, creating a resume can be quite a daunting and intimidating task. But today, I'll be showing you guys how to create a resume using Canva for absolutely free. There are a ton of different templates to choose from using Canva, and in today's video, let's go take a look. So let's start off, as usual, in the Canva homepage. So we can choose a template by typing in the search bar, Resume. As you can see, there are over 10,000 templates to choose from. So simply scroll through the list, take a look, and choose one that fits your needs. You'll notice that most of these are actually free to use, although some of these ones have a Canva Pro subscription logo on each bottom right-hand corner. To access these premium templates, you will need a Canva Pro subscription in order to use those. So as you can see, most of these resumes are more creative in nature, while others are more professional. Today I'll show you how to make edits to both of these kinds of resumes. So we're going to start out with a more professional looking resume. So go ahead, click on it, and then click on the Customize This Template option. You can also see that Canva will recommend similar looking resumes and similar looking templates to choose from. And then once you click customize this template, you now have a completely open canvas for you to use. Literally every element here on this template can be edited. So as you can see, we can zoom in here and you can see the edits I'm about to make in greater detail. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the name. For any edits that you want to make to the text of your resume, Simply go ahead and double click on it to make edits to the text. If you wish to adjust the font, go ahead, either highlight or double click on the element with the text, go to the top of the screen, and you can see that there are various font styles available to choose from. Simply go through them and choose which one you like the most. Once you find one that you've liked, then you can go ahead and adjust the size and even the color of this text font. Now, in the rest of the document, if you want to use the same type of font, or find one easily that you previously used, you can go ahead and click on it, go back to the top of the screen, click on font, and you can see all the other fonts that you have used in this specific project. So we're not going to fully edit this resume today, but I want to show you some other useful features when it comes to editing your template. In the template that we just chose, it has a bunch of design elements that you may or may not wish to keep. We can go ahead and click on this element. We can adjust the color, the type of line for this element, and even drag and adjust it accordingly. If ever you want to redo any changes that you've made to your project, on the top of the screen, click on the Undo button. Now, I'll show you guys how to add extra elements that are already not on the template. On the left-hand side, simply click on Elements, and then feel free to look through and see which of these elements you wish to add to enhance our resume. We can click on this element here, and as you can see, it'll automatically apply to our project. So just choose the element that we just added, go back to the top of the screen, and you can even change some edits on the element, like color, etc. Now we can also be a bit more dramatic and put this element underneath my name. We can even highlight my name itself, Go back to the top of the screen and adjust the font color. As you can see, by using my mouse and dragging and dropping certain elements on the screen, I can adjust each element to fit exactly where I want it to be. As you can see, it is cutting off some of this element right here, but you could edit that through anyway. You can easily delete and then insert the element that you wish to add. You can even drag this and remember, you can edit the font to go back to what you previously had by clicking on document fonts and choosing the font and color accordingly. Feel free to continue to tweak your resume and add any additional elements, graphics, or designs that you want to add. Really, let your creativity and imagination go wild. And remember, if at any point you do decide that you don't like the changes that you've made, there's always an undo button. Now let's take a look at some other things that are available to us as we update and edit our template. Here we can add additional text boxes to be included 
so we can add text elements to our template. We won't really be using too many of these anyway, so we're going to walk through how to add your own photo to your resume in one of these steps. So as you can see, the more we add, the more pages will be added to our current project. As you can see, we're already at two pages. If you continue to add text boxes and other information, this will automatically become a longer resume for you. If you wish to manually add more pages, you can go ahead here and then click on Add Page. And then feel free to edit that said page and add any additional information you wish. So this is our template for our first resume, and feel free to take the time to edit and customize all your data to put your best foot forward. Once you're done editing your resume, make sure to go up to File, and then click on Save. Canva does automatically save all our changes on the go, but by saving manually, we are sure that all changes we've made are saved. Then, once you're done and happy with all the changes, go up here on the upper right-hand corner, click on Share, then click on Download in order to download our beautiful templated resume. There are different file types for you to download, by the way. It's suggesting us to download in a PNG format, but actually for a resume, I recommend that you actually download it in PDF standard. This allows you to either edit your resume in PDF, copy and paste into a Word document if you need to, or if you already have your resume ready to send out because it's in the PDF format, feel free to go ahead and download that to your computer. So as you can see, Canva has a huge variety of templates, and depending on how you wish to present yourself in your resume, you could choose a more creative or visual option. So if we're done with a professional looking resume, we can also make a creative looking resume as well. Most of these creative resumes usually include a picture, so simply choose a templated resume which has a picture option available. Now, similar to everything else on Canva, you can edit and customize this template however you wish. But right now, I just want to show you guys how to add your own photo to a pre-existing Canva template. As you can see, this template already has a photo option element already inserted, but I want to add my own. So on the left-hand side, click on Uploads. And if you don't already have your photo uploaded to your Canva account, click on Upload Files. Simply find the picture on your computer, open it, and you'll see that it'll automatically upload into your saved images folder on Canva. Go ahead, click on that folder, then drag the image into your Canva project. As you can see, by doing this, you can automatically replace a photo with your uploaded photo. You can double click to adjust it, zoom it in or out, and even rotate it by selecting this option here. Feel free to take your time with this option. And then once you have it where you like, go ahead, click outside of the box, and voila, we have now uploaded our own photo to our Canva creative resume. As you can see, Canva makes it so easy to create a stylish and polished looking resume. And that's really all the time we have for this video. If you have any other questions or inquiries regarding the steps and tips I've shown you today, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you learned something new, feel free to like this video, and as always, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and we really hope to see your beautiful resumes in the future. Good luck, and we'll see you guys in the next one.